Um, early thoughts on Outlaws. It looks really campy and I'm actually not enjoying it. It just feels too forced. I would be fine if it was a plane that had its own characters that are cowboys because then they're cowboys. But when you're making Jace a cowboy and you're making Rakdos a cowboy and you're making Marchesa a cowgirl, like it's like, why? Why are you, why just, just make new characters for this plane? I miss it when planes were their own thing and they had their own feel. And now it just feels like you're forcing all of the characters that exist and have their own character to be this thing from the plane. Like I'm waiting for a, a, a clown plane where Jace is a clown. And the, like even Bloomborough, like Jace is a, an otter or a fox. Ral is an otter. Like why are, why do these characters have to keep showing up in every plane? Can you just, can you just make new characters for that plane so that it feels more authentic? I don't know. Anyway, that's my two cents. I don't know if that makes more money though, does it? Like, I don't know if that is a money. I mean, I understand they're trying to make money, but I don't know if that's really doing it. Like people are like, yes, I'm gonna buy this set because Jace is in a cowboy hat. That's weird. I mean, I don't think you have to acquiesce into every situation you're in, right? If I'm a planeswalker and I can go to a different plane, like I don't have to be a fucking cowboy on that plane, right? Right? Like I can just be I can just be a planeswalker. It just feels weird wearing a, like a cowboy hat and like a six shooter. <laughs> like, what, am I crazy? Actually making money in business people thinking you can make money are two separate things. Well said. Oh my god, yes. Jace and and like these other planeswalkers are basically the the Wolverine and Punisher of the early nineties where like every, every book was a crossover. <sighs> you know I mean? Like what happens on, like what happens on New Capenna, right? Like you have Rakdos and what is, does Rakdos as a, Ra a Ravnica demon who looks very demonic. He looks like a demon. Does he just go into the fucking haberdasher and he's like, hey, I need a, I need a fedora and a suit. Can you fit me with a suit? Like, wh why? What, what, what situation causes this? Like, how does this happen? How does it end up happening? Like, what's the, what's the catalyst for this? It's all very Back to the Future 3. And if you'll remember, that was the least successful Back to the Future in the franchise. Like, they're all just like, well, I guess I'm a cowboy now. But why? Like, someone, I think someone someone just posted on Twitter, and they were like, they just posted Riku of Many Paths. And I haven't seen it before, but I just looked at it, and I'm like, wow, this is the smallest thing I've ever seen. Hold on, let me get a, let me get a better picture. I bet Scryfall has it up. Those guys are on top of it. Yeah, let's look at this thing. Look at, like, it's literally just a cowboy. They all look the same. It's just homogenous cowboys. I'm trying to find more legendary creatures. It shouldn't be hard because every creature is legendary now. Because you gotta, you gotta feed the commander engine, you know? I do like the little skeleton though. <laughs> you know, I don't hate little tiny bones, but I'll be honest with you. Like, I don't know anything about him. Does he even have a story or was he just like a character that was like, like they're all just homogenous cowboys. But the ability isn't a cowboy ability. Like you're still a human wizard. You're not a human cowboy. You're not a human gunslinger. You make birds? What? This isn't cowboy themed. It just looks like a cowboy. It has no cowboy theming. I don't know, man. I'm just really, I love, I love Western stuff. I think a Western set would have been cool. 
What I don't think is cool is just cramming existing characters into a Western set and making them cowboys. It just feels like skins. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind skins. I don't like, I don't mind cosmetic upgrades. In fact, I'm a huge fan. Like, all, all my play stuff is extended art, borderless, or showcase, if available. Or, like, secret layers. Like, if I have to use a modern frame card, I get a little disappointed, and I kind of hope that there's a retro frame for it that comes out, or a, or an extended art. I love those treatments. But when it comes to storyline, the characters themselves should not be getting cosmetic treatments. Because... Like, they just shouldn't. <laughs> Let me look up Riku. Let me see what the other Rikus look like. Like, this is the OG Riku. Like... <sighs> How do you acclimate to this, man? Like... As, as like a character, right? Like I'm a character, I exist in this world, whatever world this is. Um, Commander 2011 was when Riku was first printed. You know, I'm sure he has his own backstory. And then you go to this, this plane and you're like, well, I guess I have to wear this now. I guess I have to wear a cowboy hat. I guess I have to wear like, just long, like... Why would you wear, just keep wearing this. Why would you wear this? This is arguably better armor. Look at this thing. This is like metal. He's got these like big plates. This is just a, this is just a leather coat. Like, I don't know, man. What's the, what's the story? Fun I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Like, dude, I was fine. Like I said on Twitter, like I, I was fine going to back to Kamigawa and now all of a sudden it's just cyberpunk, right? Like, Okay, that's fine. I was fine going to New Capenna, and it's just all gangsters. It's just all gangsters, and then we're going to throw in characters that we know, and those characters are now gangsters too. Elspeth is now like a, a 1920s, like, whatever she was. I don't know what she was. I don't know. Elspeth... Like, like whatever this is. It's funny because I even loved all of the Art Deco in this set. It's almost like I love these sets independent of the characters. Because the characters changing so drastically is what I don't like. Like, why would Elspeth dress like this? Why can't you just make this a different character? I don't know. It seems like a kid's TV show where like the main characters are just traveling through time. It's like Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, right? Where like all of these characters, all the planeswalkers are like Bill and Ted and they're just going to these different time periods and they have to just dress like the characters. Like, I just don't get it. And it's like, this is a realistic plane for me. Until you start adding these characters that are just faking it. They're just like, I'm not one of these people and this isn't my culture, but I'm going to make it my culture. And then it just feels like everything feels phony. Like, I would believe Outlaws of Thunder Junction was um, a cowboy plane with genuine cowboys on it. If they didn't have these planeswalkers that I know aren't cowboys, you're interjecting characters that are not the thing that this plane has. And by doing that, I feel like they're phony. Oko's not a real cowboy. Jace isn't a real cowboy, right? So it's like, it's like if there was a plane full of doctors, not Doctor Who, but like just doctors, right? This is a physician world and everyone's a doctor. And then Jace goes on the plane and he puts on doctor scrubs and a doc and a surgical mask. And you're like, but you're not a fucking doctor. <laughs> like, I know you didn't go to medical school. You didn't go to Planeswalker Medical School. So what are you wearing this for? Right? It's just phony. You're not that thing. And it that frustrates me. And it makes me think that these are just like funny characters, like kind of hiding out in this world. And they're like, we're going to just kind of sneak around and, and kind of hide ourselves.
It's just, it's, I think that's frustrating to me and it kind of removes me from it. And I feel like I'm, it feels like I am watching a TV show that has like a gimmick episode rather than, than, than hearing a good story that's being told. Like not everything has to involve Jace. Like you can have your own story. Like I remember like back in the day, you'd have Urza Saga. They had its own story. Invasion had its own story, but it still kind of overlapped with like Urza and Gerard and everything. And that's fine because that world didn't have anything like thematically unique, right? Like, no, they're not like dressing up like whatever, like invasion was just like the sets were based on the story. And then like Mirrodin was completely unique and original. And like, there was no overlapping characters in Mirrodin and they were all new and it was great. I don't know. This is my rant. It just feels phoned in. Like, I, I, I don't want to say phoned in because I know they can do better. I just don't like this direction. What is this? What is my hand? Oh, this is a mic stand. Look at that. You can see it, the mic arm, but then it's gone. Wow, amazing. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I look at these two and I'm like, this feels like a real magic character that was created and cultivated. And this feels like Briscoe County Jr. Like, I don't even know if the face is the same. Does he have a mustache here? Like this character does not look like this character. I don't know. Maybe it's not close enough for me to tell, but this art is great. This could just be like Billy of many paths. You could just make this a new legend and then you got, bam, you got a new character in magic. Why does it have to be Riku? I don't know. Does anyone know? Who can say? Anyway, that's been my rant on uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Is that what it's called? OTJ. Also, let me don't even get me started on the, the fact that the set abbreviation is OTJ. That's bringing me strong Odyssey Torment Judgment vibes, and this is no Odyssey Torment Judgment. Also, every card has to have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine lines of text on it now. How many how many lines does Annie have? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, oh, only eight. Only eight lines of text on here. Okay, got it. Got it. <sighs> all right good talk <laughs> that's my that's my thoughts so i'm glad i glad i could give them to you i'll see you later